Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In today's update, we're going to be talking about a big cool down that is on the way with a strong cold front that's going to bring below average temperatures all the way to the southeast and even into Florida. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel and definitely share with your friends on social media that love weather related content. So let's get started. So let's look at the uh, overall latest Climate Prediction Center, and this is their forecast uh, from that they put out yesterday, February the 15th, and the six to, t six to 10 day outlook from essentially uh, the 21st to the 25th. And for the, a lot of the areas that's been getting the, the well above average temperatures are actually gonna see a welcome relief uh, for the Southeast and get some of those cooler temperatures, if not colder temperatures, uh, for the deep south, into the southeast, and even into Florida, uh, coming up the middle middle of the week and going into the weekend. All right, so let's delve into this. So, in the pre the uh, precipitation outlook uh, does have some more rain for you guys in the south and southeast with that cold front that's going to tap into some of those warmer uh, Gulf Gulf t uh, temperatures, uh, but it's not going to be the deluge. Uh, that you've seen a as of late. So you are going to get some rain, but definitely not the, the flooding range that you experienced uh, last week. If you take a look at the latest uh, drought index, now this actually updates every Tuesday. So this basically runs from uh, Thursday to Thursday. And we had a lot of rain uh, in Texas. So I would imagine uh, as when this updates on Tuesday that a lot of these uh, uh, you know, moderate drought, even some severe drought will definitely uh, modify. But you can see much of the country, especially for the uh, the east, is uh, running. Th there's no drought inside because you've had a, an, an enormous amount of rainfall uh, over the last uh, two, probably two months now. And so there's there's very little drought actually going on uh, for for the United States. There's pockets of and in, into Utah, into uh, uh, to Colorado and things, but. Overall, it's it's not too bad, especially as we're going into uh, spring, and and you actually see above average rainfall uh, during that time frame. So let's take a look at the overall snapshot of where we've been in February as far as temp the temperature an anomaly, and this basically puts you from February first through the middle of the month. I always like to do this as a as a snapshot of because we're basically halfway through. Um, and you can kind of basically see where these cold fronts have predominantly been coming from the northwest, bringing that uh, below average temperatures through the northwest, going into Texas, and then swinging back up uh, through uh, the middle of the country, through the Ohio Valley, and leaving the south and southeast and the eastern part of the United States uh, ab above average with above average temperatures. Uh, the difference this week is that cold front is going to sag southward and kind of kind of stall out and kind of leave behind those below average temperatures and kind of welcome relief uh, for the southeast and, and even into Florida uh, this week. So uh, let's take a look at the overall map. Uh, this is for tomorrow, and you can actually see this is Monday now. You can kind of see this uh, stronger cold front that's going to be digging down into the central part of the U.S., that Arctic outbreak that we had last week, uh, this is not as strong, but definitely bringing probably some, uh, you know, below zero temperatures again for parts of the, of the Dakotas and even into uh, Minnesota. Uh, but you can see kind of see that transition of that strong cold front. It's going to bring more snow to Minnesota and Wisconsin and definitely more snow in the mountains of uh, Colorado and even into Denver uh, this week. Um, and as this strong cold front comes through, it really starts to accelerate. And by Tuesday, it's all the way down into Texas now. And so we'll have a transition where we basically go from essentially 80 degrees on Monday, where we've re re rebounded now. And then we have a strong cold front uh, coming on Tuesday with a 30 degree drop. Um, but this, the difference this time is this, this cold front will actually... Uh, hang around, not just for several days, but, uh, and we'll kind of delve into this and, and it'll, it'll bring below average temperatures for much of the second half of the week, uh, coming for, especially for the South. But for Monday, you can take a look at some of these anomaly temperatures and where it's kind of made that transition of rebounding from that colder air that we were experienced in earlier in the week. 
now by Monday, like I said, we're going to be pushing 80 in the Dallas Worth area and much of much of the south is well, well above average temperatures of 10 to 15 degrees above average temperatures. But you can see some of that Arctic air looming with 20 to 20 to 25 degrees below average temperatures, just kind of waiting for that trigger to uh, go go southward this week. And they, as you can kind of see by by Wednesday morning, it sh- kind of shows that Arctic air really uh, and funneling itself through the central part of the country. And like I said, where you've seen those below zero temperatures last week, you're going to be hit again in a lot of the same areas uh, with 20, now 30 degrees uh, below average temperatures. And you kind of see the demarcation line of this cold front that's going to be penetrating all the way down into Texas now. And there's relief on the way for you guys in the, in the south, we, southeast for Alabama and uh, Mississippi and Georgia and in the Carolinas. Um, and this will swing to your to the east coast as well this week so you're not going to be left out either and as this swings on to thursday morning we've got this is kind of where i say i always say max is out uh where they it brings its coldest temperatures uh where, where that cold core under that arctic cold core you'll have 20 to 35 degrees below normal uh temperatures in parts of uh southern minnesota even into uh iowa but you can definitely see more below average temperatures now penetrating further south, getting into the southeast and now elevating into uh, the northeast and into the Ohio Valley with uh, single digits and double digits below normal readings by Thursday morning. And by Friday, that cold front actually sags all the way south. So We'll have a transition where we are going to have some rain for the south starting probably about Wednesday, Thursday, and definitely into Friday. And this is probably your coldest time where you could potentially Thursday night into Friday have a little bit of snow breakout into uh, West Texas, uh, parts of the Panhandle. I could see some snow. I mean, I, I can't roll out a flurry or two here, but there's not much to speak of. But if there are going to be some snow for the south, this week, I would I would imagine it's probably going to be in the Panhandle or, or West Texas where they're going to see that uh, kind of a st- extreme anomalies from you know 20 to 2 to 25 degrees below normal temperatures tapping into some of those uh, colder colder air al- aloft mixing in and that's where you're going to kind of transition to some of that rain into uh, snowfall for you guys. But yeah, you can see definitely by a Thursday. And this is how you read this. This is the Friday zero Z. So basically you take out six hours, which is basically six o'clock on Thursday afternoon. And you can kind of see definitely that colder air is starting to creep into uh, the Southeast and parts of the panhandle now and bringing those below average temperatures into uh, New England. If we take it out another frame, and this is, this is by Saturday morning now, and you can see those colder temperatures pulling all the way down into the southeast now where I showed you the anomaly map of the Carolinas with, you know, five to 10 degrees above average means for the entire month of February. So this is going to be a welcome relief for you guys now seeing the the total opposite of that of 15 to 20 degrees below average temperatures all the way to the coast and like places like Savannah and, uh, uh, Atlanta, you're going to be getting into the action of those colder temperatures. So this is definitely going to be a, a, a welcome sign that, yes, it's it's still winter out there and it does get cold. <laughs> so, uh, But, yeah, this will penetrate all the way down into Florida now. So not only just the panhandle, but it'll go into even central Florida and start modifying. But much of the state of Florida is going to be below average temperatures for at least a couple days uh by the by next weekend so if we take a look at the overall precipitation outlook for this week basically there's two parts that stand out we're going to have that northwest flow we're going to bring more snow into uh the mountain snow and especially into colorado definitely into denver and we're going to have a clipper system earlier in the week it's going to bring more snow to some of the higher elevations into uh, wisconsin and uh, michigan and definitely upstate uh, New York and Vermont and Maine, extreme parts of like Caribou and the upper uh, upper main coast. Uh, but down south where they're going to tap into some of that that colder that those colder temperatures, mixing in with those warmer Gulf Gulf temperatures, 
you are going to ring out some rain shower showers and maybe a pocket of transition of snow into West Texas, but most of it's going to be rain for the deep South, but it's going to be a chilly rain, you know, so it's not going to be raining at all the times, but as this clears out uh, by the weekend, you'll have a, um, some of so those colder temperatures tap, tap it into, but yeah, good, uh, probably one to two part, parts of three inches of rain for uh, Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and into parts of the Carolina, the panhandle of Florida this week. So that'll kind of give you an idea of what this cold front's going to bring bring over the next uh, several days into this weekend. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, watching and definitely share with your friends on uh, social media. And please subscribe to my channel. And you do have an option to ring the bell and get notified when I do release uh, my next video. So uh, definitely like this video and share with your friends on social media. And catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.